I was raised here in northern Arizona. I am standing out here in a place um, near Wapaki National Park on just east of the Little Colorado River and I just came from visiting my grandmother Catherine Peshlakai. And from here I can look all the way around and I can see the place that I grew up. I grew up here herding sheep in the 1970s and um, across the way behind me where the mountains are is Flagstaff, Arizona and that is where I live today. Um, I was raised um, both on the Navajo Reservation and off the reservation uh, in the border towns. In 1990, right before I left for the Persian Gulf War, my family gave me a traditional um, warrior's ceremony uh, to protect me while I was in battle. Even today, October 20th, 2007, there's a lot of Native Americans serving the armed forces overseas in Afghanistan and Iraq. And um, when I was there, I know that we had an army chaplain to um, pray over the non-natives, but there's a lot of natives there that are being protected by the medicine man, the ceremonies, the traditions of our people here in, in the United States. And that's the one thing I really wanted to share, that um, I get my strength, my courage, my motivation in life from my tradition, my ancient histories that are part of my very being, where I come from, from the land. Um, this is something much, much greater than I just standing here with you today talking about what is important about being Native American, what is important about carrying on the sacred duties of the Navajo lady, the Navajo mother, the Ma Navajo grandmother. I was just sharing with my friend Tyrus, the um, person that is filming this, that this is the windy season here in the Navajo country. And he doesn't know that the windy season is four seasons out of the year here in <laughs> northern Arizona. But we are still here. We are thriving here. We're successful here. We're living here. And there's still a very strong beauty way for the Native American people in this land today. Um, I've traveled all over the world. I've seen Navajos in Europe, Navajos in the Middle East, Navajos in South America. And everywhere we go, there's Navajos. And they're very su successful people. And we've adapted and we're strong. And it's our ancient traditions, our ancient cultures, our ancestors that with their wisdom, with their teachings, with the origin stories, all these things that have kept us together as a people, as a culture, we're strong. Um, there's a time when we almost lost our language. There's a time, and even today, that we're losing um, young people to uh, influences that are not native and we need to let them know that they are Native American they need to be positive and proud of that um, I have many friends that are non-native and um, I think for me to reach out to those folks is um, something I, I feel very comfortable with and a lot of my friends that are native they've really much kept to themselves and I think we're a really quiet quiet group of people and um, it's easy to overlook us but um, there's a lot of strong spokes spokespeople out there and there's a lot of um, learning going on there's a lot of um, communication intertribally um, and within the different diverse cultures here in the United States. We have a lot of people moving here every day and they don't know that the Native American is still here. I am traditional. Whenever I feel the need for prayer, whenever I feel um, um, that I need the support and the help of the greater um, being the creator, then I turn back to my traditions. I have two traditions. I have my Western traditions and I have my Navajo traditions. 
and I'm one of those people that I always tell my friends, you know what, you've only got one thing to look out for. If you walk under a ladder, fine. But with me, if I get a coyote cross my path and then a black cat crosses my path, I got two superstitions to deal with. And if you're a person like me, that's just a lot of superstitions to carry on one shoulder. And, um, but that's who I am. That's what makes me the person that I am. And I always, I tell my children they are special and they're really wonderful and they should be proud of these things because uh, there's nobody else quite like them or quite like me. And my father always told us when we were small, the center of the universe starts at your belly button. It's you. You're your center of your universe. And I firmly and strongly believe that because that is who I am, Navajo.